Hey everyone, this is Zephyr, and welcome to the BaileyWiki channel, where we teach everyday DMs how to create truly amazing experiences for their players by combining art and technology. We also make modular systems and scenes that you can use without any setup. And today we're talking about our free maps pack module for Foundry Virtual Tabletop. If you've seen much of the channel, you'll know that we get up to some pretty crazy things using Foundry VTT. The BaileyWiki Free Maps Pack is a completely ready-to-go module that has scenes that you can use for any game, and there is a heavy focus on providing as much utility and flexibility as possible. These are maps that are meant to offer some set pieces, but also some generic locations that you can visit in just about any campaign. While these maps are simplified versions, they are by no means incomplete. There are lots of great features and beautiful artwork incorporated into them. There's also some helpful tools such as placeables that you can use to further customize these scenes or build out your own. If you've wanted to get a feel for BaileyWiki content without diving all the way into the premium side of things, then this is a great place to start. And in this video, we're going to go through the different features available in the free map pack in some more detail. If all of that sounds good, then we'll dive right in, beginning with the setup process. For getting started, there are four modules that you will need. First, we have the BaileyWiki free maps pack itself, and then its three dependencies are BaileyWiki mass edit, BaileyWiki nuts and bolts, and libwrapper. Then we have three modules that we recommend directly in the module installation process, and that is going to be the levels suite, also known as levels, better roofs, and wall height. These are required for a couple of our scenes, but otherwise the wall height and better roofs just make some of the scenes with overhead tiles work and look a little bit better. Then we also have some really optional bits of FX Master and Token Magic FX. These are not strictly necessary by any means, however you do get a little more out of the nuts and bolts module and also a little extra ambiance on some of our scenes if you do have FX Master and Token Magic FX installed. Once you have everything installed and activated, then to get started, you'll simply go to your Compendiums tab over here on the right. Within that, you should find a folder entitled BaileyWiki Content. And within that, there are going to be three subfolders, Prefabs, Scenes-Free, and Utility Pieces. If you also have a BaileyWiki Premium module, then you'll see the regular Scenes folder. Let's get started with looking at some scenes and then we'll dive into some other pieces. For the free scenes, the compendium has a variety of scenes here that you can take a look at. You can either import these individually by right clicking and selecting import entry, clicking them once and then clicking import in the top of this scene configuration window, or you can take the whole folder and drag and drop it into your scenes directory. All of these maps are going to be kind of simplified versions of the maps that we have in the BaileyWiki Premium Modules. They're still completely fully functional, but what's nice about these is that they are a lot more simplified and a lot easier to dip your toes into. It's a good way to get acquainted with how we make maps and some of the features involved and how to navigate them without being overwhelmed by just all of the bells and whistles that we have at our disposal. The first thing that you'll notice on any of our scenes, besides the artwork, is going to be a variety of notes. These are little drawings that you can manipulate, remove, whatever you would like, and they will give you some information about the scene. They can either be just description of features or letting you know about some secrets or some mechanical things that you can do as a DM. For example, notice that this says secret passage, and we also have an entrance here. If we take our test token and we walk through the entrance, we'll notice that this is a overhead tile that we pass completely underneath. Similarly, for this secret passage, it might be difficult for our players to see, but there is a skull here, and these walls actually don't obstruct movement, allowing you to secretly move between. So it gives you some information about the different elements of the map you're working on. Other pieces are maybe storytelling elements, such as the cave or sacrificial altar, or the prison here. Now that we've toured the ancient ruins, let's go through our other maps. We'll begin with the Carnival Grounds simple here, and this is going to be a flat map that is designed in a way to give some extra depth. 
There are a variety of tents here for a carnival or circus, or it could also serve as a market or outdoor bazaar for your campaign. There's plenty of places where you could throw down NPCs at different points, and it's already nicely pre-lit and walled for you. There are also different ambiances depending upon the time of day. So you can see as we move around with our test character here that we have a nice kind of party atmosphere as we traverse the carnival grounds here at night. If we transition things to daytime, then we'll notice that the ambiance changes and it's more of a bustling market type of situation rather than a party. And also all of those lights have now turned off as they're not needed in the daytime. Our next scene is our city street, and this is a fantastic place to again have a kind of market situation or just a neighborhood that your party can explore. We've got great sounds in place already, and there's also an enterable candle shop here that you can explore with your party and also place vendors, etc. within. We recommend having the wall height and better roofs modules for this particular map as there is support for going above the roof levels that allow you to explore at different points. And just like our carnival map, there are different ambiances between day and night. You'll also notice these placeable street lamps. So you can move these around. They are powered using the Bailiwiki mass edit linker function that lets you attach these different tiles together with lights. You can also see that if we move our token underneath, that part of this street lamp is overhead while another part of it is underfoot. We'll discuss placeables and presets a little bit more in depth after we review all of the maps. Our next map is a classic here, and it's going to be our multi-level galleon, one of the first maps that we created, and it is still a great map for exploring with your party. It's going to be a base of operations or a great adventure at sea. Now, this map, as well as our following map, are going to require the levels suite of better roofs, wall height, and levels. With it, you can click on your levels layer tool and then navigate through the different decks of the ship. If you're unfamiliar with levels and you want to know more about it, then you can check out our channel for full tutorials on building in three dimensions in Foundry using the levels modules. Assuming that you are familiar, then this should be pretty easy to navigate. For your players, it is dead simple. As we move around with our test character, again, we have that great ambiance in the background, and then we can explore in logical locations. So we can climb up these ladders using levels drawings, and explore all of the decks of the ship, and should we hop down, it will automatically lower our heights as well. There is also an elevator style drawing that allows us to go up to the crow's nests and see all of the sails. And of course, we can explore inside the ship as well. You can also see that there are different ambiances as you go deeper into the ship. You hear kind of the below ship ambiance rather than just the ocean ambiance. You can also hop down between the gun deck and into the cargo hold and generally explore the ship quite thoroughly. The final map that we'll discuss is the Galleon Icebound, and this is actually a modification of our Galleon map that was originally done by Atropos, the founder of Foundry VTT, who so graciously also gave us a copy of this map to distribute in our free module. Similar to the Galleon, this is completely explorable and you'll need to have better roofs, wall height, and levels. 
We also additionally recommend having FX Master as there's some pretty cool interplay between levels and these different overhead tiles and FX Master or weather effects. You can also use some of the Foundry weather effects instead if you would prefer to do that. Just like the Galleon, if you open up the Levels Layer tool, you can navigate through all of the different floors of the Icebound Galleon. And this is completely explorable here. You'll notice this is a much more macabre rendition of the Galleon that we already explored. Clearly some sort of disaster befell the crew here. And one of the really cool additions here is this gaping hole in the deck that allows us to fall all the way down into the cargo hold. You'll also notice with weather effects going on that the weather is occluded perfectly to have that sense of fog or snow or rain, whatever you have going on in your map, filter all the way down here into the cargo hold in an immersive way. You can see the grates from the upper deck and then where there is the rift in the ship, we can also see fog effects there as well. As we mentioned earlier on this city street map, there are also placeables and presets provided using mass edit. So there are these street lamps we discussed earlier that we can move around and place. There are also some that you can deploy directly. So you're not limited to just what is on this scene or having to copy and paste these. You can go into the mass edit presets browser and then under the tiles and also under the all directory, you can find the bailiwiki prefabs free maps pack folder and within that, you will find brushes and placeables. Within placeables, you can find those street lamp posts and you can place them in your maps. So you can use these to decorate with additional street lamps if you'd like. And we'll hop over to another scene to demonstrate all of these different presets and then also take a look at how you can use them in a basic sense. To use all of those placeables, we're again gonna to go to that mass edit presets browser and all of these can be found within your tile section and also within the all section. There's two distinctions here. There are brushes and placeables. Out of the brushes, the only one we have included in the free module is this tree canopy type one. For all of these, you can click and drag to drop this into your scene. You can also double left click and then you will have a preview that you can then manipulate. If you hold down shift, you will rotate it in 15 degree increments. Holding down control rotates in five degree increments, so much smaller. You can also hold down alt to scale it larger and smaller. If you're unhappy with this preset and you don't wanna use it, you can middle mouse click to get rid of it. And when you are happy, then you can single left click to place it. Once you've placed it, you can move it around rotate it, manipulate it, etc. Brushes are typically going to be a single tile that you are placing and is slightly randomized. You'll notice that these are also equipped with token magic effects that have the shadow direction staying somewhat constant here. So if you'd like to have the full detail experience, then you'll want to stick with token magic effects for the brush. As far as placeables go, we have four included in the free map pack as of right now. The first is gonna be that lamppost that we discussed earlier. Then we also have a tent for camping, an artist and a painter, and a home. For these last three, they are explorable. So if we throw in our test actor and we move up to the tent, we can see that the light peaks out here a little bit. And then when we go inside, we can see the bedroll and the chest for storage within. Exiting this and heading over to the artist and painters section, 
the roof disappears when we head underneath it, we can see a nice artist's studio here. complete with a crackling fire. Then we also have our home. That is nice and explorable. Just like with the lamp, all of these are linked together presets. So when you move the tiles around, you are moving the entirety of the object. And as you can see, everything stays nice and connected. If you want to know more about these linked presets and how they work, then we have a variety of tutorials on mass edit and working with them. As a quick overview, these are going to be linked together with mass edit and the default key binding to open up the quick link management menu is shift Q. And this will show you all the different elements that are connected here as a linked unit. If you want to delete any of these, you can select it and then if you hold shift when you press delete, then you'll only delete that element. Undoing a deletion of a linked element will bring it back fully linked. You can also change the nature of these links. For instance, the lights here are one way, so they will be moved by the rest of the building. However, if we move the lights around, they will not move the building. You can edit this by clicking on the links themselves to cycle through the different behaviors. Again, there are a whole lot of different ways that you can manipulate this and mass edit is a very robust and powerful module. So we definitely suggest you take a look at some of our tutorials on the subject if you're interested in learning more about how those work. So these are a great way to modify the scenes we have included here, or also for working on creating your own. For example, these buildings are right at home in the city street, and you can also use these tents either on the circus grounds or on the ancient ruins to have a kind of campsite for your party to work from. That's going to conclude our tour of the BaileyWiki free Maps Pack module. If you haven't checked out our maps before, we hope that you dive in and give this module a try. And if you like what we do here, then there are a whole lot of great upgrades available on the premium side of things. There are additional versions of all of these maps, including ones with more complex functions, such as monks active tau triggers, events, interactive elements, and controls for modifying the scene quickly and easily on the fly. And there are a host of different placeables that you can drop in. Right now, we have hundreds of scenes and thousands of prefabs, both in 2D and even in 3D. We also have dungeon draft assets and maps, so you can create your own masterpiece scenes as well. There's a whole lot to offer at the BaileyWiki Patreon if you feel so inclined and you want to take the plunge after you have tried out the free module. Either way, we hope that you have enjoyed this video and enjoy the free module. If you want to keep up with all of our latest content, then subscribe to never miss a video and consider becoming a patron. Not only do you support this channel, but you also gain access to all of those premium features we mentioned earlier. Again, this has been Zephyr with the BaileyWiki channel. Thank you so much for watching, happy gaming, and have a good one.